everyone, it's Peyton, Head of Patient Care here at Hill Navigator. Have you noticed methane blue popping up all over social media? Biohackers are raving about it, and now it's even entering cancer care conversation. So let's separate curiosity from caution. Traditionally, methylene blue has been used as a dye in cancer care as it helps surgeons and doctors see tumors and precancerous tissues more clearly during surgeries and endoscopies. Researchers are now studying how when combined with light, it produces reactive oxygen species that damage cancer cells. And some studies even suggest it actually builds up in tumors, which could potentially make it a tool for targeted therapies. Early evidence shows it may improve oxygen levels in tumors, and that could make chemo or radiation more effective. But it's still experimental, definitely not something to try on your own. Online, it's been promoted for memory focus, even anti-aging, because its effect on the mitochondria, especially when stacking with treatments like book light therapy. But here's the truth. The hype is way above and ahead of science, and human studies are limited. So yes, methane blue has limited medical uses and some really promising research directions, but it's not a miracle cure and self-experimentation can be risky. If you're curious about therapies like this or other repurposed medication in your cancer care plan, talk to a knowledgeable doctor or one of our integrative oncology nurses here at Hill Navigator. We can help separate hype from what might actually support your specific cancer treatment. See the link in the description below on how to get connected.